How's it going out there? This is Fiji Minus. So where was Jesus for the three days before he was resurrected? And so in one of my videos, I discussed how, well, I was asking the question whether a soul is immortal. And so some Christians were saying that um, it's not. They were saying like, um, when you're when you're dead, you're you're dead. Like you're just done until further notice or something like that. And they were saying, yeah, like the soul goes with you. But I um, I was saying like how the scripture clearly says there's a difference between the body, death, and then there, it says that the soul does not die. It says man can only kill the body, but not the soul. Only God can kill the soul. So this brings me to where was Jesus when he died? died so um well he was dead for three days um the bible speaks of jesus going to Sheol, and so while he was there and so that right there is a clue because um when he left his flesh he went somewhere and then when he was there according to my research he he was there was activities that he was doing. They said it says he was preaching, you know, to the people or to the spirits where he was. Now, some biblical scholars will say, well, he was preaching to the fallen angels. But is that. But from my research, it, it wasn't clear. It just says he was preaching to the spirits. So was he preaching to the people in Sheol that had died? It. It refers to them as the imprisoned spirits. So is Sheol kind of like a prison, a holding cell until judgment? And are you sure he was speaking to only the fallen angels or is it possible he was preaching to the, the dead people that were dead? So is that a clue about what happens after death? Because when Jesus died, it clearly says he was doing something for three days. He wasn't just, you know, his, his spirit was doing something while his flesh and his body was, um, you know, in a um, cemetery. His spirit was still active, according to these scriptures. And it even goes on to say that Jesus might have um, took some some of the saints to a different area or something. I mean, look, this in this um discussion, I don't have all my notes or anything. This channel, I don't really do that. That's for, for my Feed Your Mind 2 channel, but I'm telling you what I've researched off of memory and stuff. So if I get anything wrong, just, you know, hey, I'm trying here without notes. So, but for my research, he had took some saints somewhere else, you know, maybe to paradise or to, to their new home. Because it sounds like before Jesus um, finished what he had to finish here on earth before he was um, before his death, that death um, released a bunch, you know, it released a new. Um, it released something new for the dead, like something instead of the dead just being somewhere imprisoned in Sheol. And the saints and everybody that died before um, Jesus, instead of them just, you know, being in prison somewhere, his Jesus death had released something where now it was finished. You know, the his his purpose on earth was finished. So now the the um, the dead have a new hope for after they die. They can there's a new place for them now. He even told the guy that was up there with him um there was a guy next to him like a thief and he told him you know he's gonna be somewhere else after he leaves you know after he's done with his on that torture stake you know because he was up there just like jesus there was like him jesus and like two others up there so he told the guy next to him he said you're gonna be in paradise with me so that tells us that there's a place that he was preparing for the dead now now that he um he finished his work here with his sacrifice. 
that I'm unlocked a new home for the for the dead and a new hope for the dead. So he is telling that that guy that was um you know that thief that was next to him. He told him, "Yeah, you're gonna be you know he he has he has a place for him after this. Um, he's gonna be in paradise with him." So that tells us that yeah, like the the body might the body might die. Yeah, the body's gonna die. You know, but that's not the end. That's not the end. And it also gives us an insight into, you know, like where if Jesus was down there telling spirits and preaching to spirits and letting them know the, the good news. I mean, like I said, some biblical scholars will say, well, he was talking to the imprisoned spirits, uh, which which were the fallen angels. But from from my research, it, it wasn't clear like it's very vague information available about what he was doing for those three days while he was dead. But from what I'm get, you know, from the information that is available, it sounds like, you know, he was talking to the imprisoned spirits. And then if it's not specifically saying those were fallen angels, then that means he could have been speaking to the dead, you know, like the, the people that had died before him had all went somewhere, which is a place I guess called Sheol or whatever you want to call it. And then that to me, that that's the most appropriate word for it, which was the grave, but it's a place where I guess how I'm interpreting it, interpreting it is it was a place where once your soul leaves your body, it goes somewhere. And Jesus was telling them the good news after he had finished what he had finished. But like I said, I mean, let me know. I mean, was he, t was it, was it the fallen angels or, or, like I said, for my for my sources, it's they all the biblical scholars I um, did my research with. Um, it, it seems like the information is very vague about who he was preaching to while he was in Sheol, and it makes sense that where if Jesus had died, he went to where the re where anybody else would go when you die. And so if he is down there, I mean, there's room for. Is it possible he was speaking to the dead? You know, this, the spirit, it says the spirits, but it doesn't necessarily say the fallen angels. So if you're talking to the imprisoned spirits down there, could have those imprisoned spirits be where people were going after they die? So the soul, and that, that gives us more clues that the soul could be immortal. Like the soul is immortal. Plus, like I said, he told the guy next to him that he's going to be with them in paradise. So they're... A lot of um, organized religion is say you know they're saying, and a lot of um, mainstream narratives when it comes to Christianity, they they were saying like, no, the soul's not immortal. Well, not a lot of them, but some some people were saying the soul's not immortal. But with this new information, with this information I spoke with you about in this video, um, does that you know like, what do you think about that? Like, does that add insight to? possibly the soul being immortal. So I'll leave links in the comment section in the description box if you want to do more research on the subject with me. Um, I'll also leave links to my other channels and social media. And if you want to donate to the channel, um, you can donate as little as a dollar and you're helping this channel out so I can put out more videos and you get access to secret videos, early releases, and sneak peeks. So um, thank you for tuning in. This has been Feed Your Mind signing off.